everybody and welcome back to the channel and if you're here for the very first time it is an absolute pleasure to meet you. I'm Jane and my husband Mike is behind the camera. We're British, early retirees, we've got no debt, we've paid off the mortgage and we live a thrifty, frugal and money-saving life here in Brittany in northwest France. And every Friday we bring you something food related. I might cook for you, I might do some meal planning, I might do some meal prep, some batch cooking, I might do some baking. And like today, I've got a shopping haul. And it's a really unusual shopping haul today because it's massive, a massive shopping haul. Now, last year when Storm Kieran ripped through here at 120 miles an hour and left us devoid of power for eight days, all of us who were EDF customers get compensated for that and we had the compensation through it just landed in our bank accounts and you know I'm always talking about having stocking up and making sure you've got plenty in stock and what we have done today is really make the most of the best bargains we possibly can now you're watching this it's Good Friday it's the Easter weekend and you know we've got some really really good meat bargains today. Um, lamb is in season, so we've got we've got lamb, we've also got some beef, we've got some beef today, which I'll share with you as well. So we're gonna share with you the bargains we've got and the stocking up that we have done. So let's pull the camera and show you what we got. We went to Antamache and they and other stalls had a really good deal on for legs of lamb. Now the legs of lamb worked out at 8.73 a kilo, which is a bargain. If it was chicken on offer at 8.73 a kilo, I would have bought that. So I bought two legs of lamb in there and one at just over two kilos was 18.73 and one was 17.70. So those are the legs of lamb, and a leg of lamb like that would feed a family of six, a really, really good roast dinner. So those are gonna go into the freezer, and what I do is, is I, I roast it, and I slow roast it, so it's like pulled, you know, I've pulled pork, this is like pulled lamb, and you can literally pull the bone out of it. And we serve it with mint sauce. So this is mint sauce from Coleman's, and this is expensive here, that is £2.75 a jar. But we did look in the UK, was it one, one, one pound fifty in the UK? About one fifty, one seventy. I think. One fifty, one seventy in the UK. So we paid a bit more because it's £2.75 because it's imported from the UK. And what you do with mint sauce is you put a few spoonfuls of this, big spoonfuls, in a jug. You add in some sugar and you add in some vinegar and you stir it all up till it's all mixed together. And you'd roast the lamb, you'd have the lamb with gravy, roast potatoes, Yorkshire puddings, lots of different vegetables, and you have it with mint sauce. So in total, at Antimarche, I spent 47 euros and five cents. You will see I've got two other legs of lamb. I didn't buy them all in one store because when it's a good price like that, you do not want to strip the shell. I don't want to strip the shells. I want to leave them for other people as well. So what I did is I bought some in one shop and some in another. The next store I went into today that also had the lamb on offer was Netto and it's exactly the same price. It's 8.78 a kilo. So I've got two legs of lamb. I've got one that's slightly bigger, that's 18 euros 19. Uh, I've got one there that's 17 euros 46. So that's four legs of lamb. And that's how we keep our food prices low. When something is on offer, I will go and do a super, super stock up. Um, these, I use this a lot in my cooking. If I make a bolognese or anything minced beef based that I need to pad out a bit, this is the Julienne legume, so it is Carrots, leeks, and celeriac. So it, it really does pad it out. So that's 138 a bag each. 
this is sort of things that I stock up on when I've got a bit more money. So I've got tins of peas and they are 73 cents each and a jar of mustard. I quite like own brand mustard. It's not so hot normally. And that was 93 cents. So in netto altogether, I spent 40 euros and 80 cents. Next, I went in to Lidl. I always call into Lidl as soon as it opens at 8.30 in the morning to check out their reduced meat section. There really wasn't in there anything at all that I wanted or I needed. So something else I can really only get from Lidl are Ziploc bags, a proper zips on them. And I use these a few times and wash them out before I recycle them. So the Ziploc bags are 20 for the small ones, there's 15 for the big ones, and those are 1.99 each. Um, I've got Macedam, which is a mature cheese, and it's already in slices. I do check the per kilo price. I don't buy that if it's more than it is in a block, if it's the same price. It's really, really convenient. Um, we eat our main meal at lunchtime in the evening, sort of 6 p.m. We pretty much just have sort of a cheese and crackers and a piece of fruit for our evening meal. So that was 260. We've got feta cheese here, 200 grams, 248. Feta is getting, it's so expensive these days, but it's such a, but it, we have that as a meal in itself as a salad. I then got a kilo and a half of frozen petit pois, little peas for 266. I've got packs of, our baking powder comes in these sachets, so that's 27 a pack for the baking powder. Our vanilla essence comes as a vanilla sugar, and that was 81. And I've got two and a half kilos of frozen chips. Now it says here you must fry them, but we just stick them as they are, because they've got some oil on them, into our air fryer. And that, that, that many chips will last us a month. And potatoes, are at the end of their time now. So they were harvested last year and they're now sprouting. So that was 367 for the chips. And in total in Lidl, I spent 16 euros and 74 cents. The next store that we went to was La Claire. Uh, most of the things that you see here today when it says Eco on it is the store's own brand and it is their cheapest of their own brand. So I've got, to start with here, two 200 gram packs of Lardon Fumé, which is smoked bacon. And you can see it's already chopped up. And that's how the French sell their bacon because this is used as flavouring. You fry it up, you let the fat render down, and you cook something in it if you're gonna make a casserole or you add it to something like a pasta meat sauce, for example. So those are 149. We then have epil cuit, which is basically, pretty big, we would call this ham. Now ham is traditionally from the legs, but in the UK, it's often from the shoulder. So pork shoulder meat, and that was 184 for eight slices. And that's what that looks like. And then this is the deal that I went in for. I've got two packs here of uh, faux filet, as they're called in France. In the UK, we call that sirloin. And there are two names for this that I got from America. One was strip loin, and the other one was New York strip. So these are those steaks. Now these were on offer on promotion anyway at 10.75 a kilo. But with my app, I had another 10% off, making my pack of four sirloin steaks 9.67. And for that price, I wasn't leaving them in the shop. So I bought two packs and I've got my freezer bag. So these will go into the freezer bags and into the freezer. I've got two for lunch today 
And then we've got another one, two, three meals from our sirloin steaks. We've then got a bottle of port, which was reduced to, is that 636? 636, 20% off. 20% off, that was really good. And then we have some dog food over here, which is a separate budget from our supermarket budget. The dogs have their own. They have dog treats, 167. Don't make the packet crinkle too loudly or the dogs will come running. We've got a massive multi-pack of the meat and gravy that we mix into their dog food, which was 927. That's Purina. We have, i be quiet with those as well. They're sleeping. Do you want to wake them up? Do you want to shake the box? We've got gravy bones at 157 a pack. We've got Sif Cleaner at 182. It was 222 in Lidl and 182 in Leclerc, so a bit cheaper in there. We have got eight of the Activia yogurts, was 310. This is our espresso coffee for our machine, and ours don't come in little plastic containers, they come in these little dossets. So the regular coffee, and again, this is the cheapest one, but we think it's absolutely fine. It was 273 for 48. And then this is, so what you've got here, Mark Repair. That's the supermarket's own brand. So this is their, their discount one, and this is their own brand. So that's 36 decaffeinated tea bags, tea, coffee, dossets, 289. Here I've got a bag of mash, which in the UK we call lamb's lettuce, and rocket. People say to me, what's rocket? Americans, you use the Italian name of arugula. We've then got the first of the seasons, local Breton Lucastel strawberries. And these little tiny strawberries are called Gary Gwet. I don't know, that's probably the wrong pronunciation. But that's how it's written. And they are the best strawberries you will ever eat anywhere you can come back here please um we haven't had any chocolate since christmas so easter's coming up so we bought ourselves some chocolate mike's got 16 of the mon Cherie, which is four euros and one cents and i have got a bar of the lindor and it's got the creme inside and that's 233 um this is for mike for driving me around today and pushing the shopping Caddy everywhere we went today. And these are four pan au chocolat, and these are butter ones, and those are reduced to 267. I've then got two bags of grated mozzarella cheese with 256. It's weird in France, the grated cheese is often cheaper than the solid cheese. So that's those. I've got a pot of sea salt, and that's 73 cents. I've got two pots of mascarpone cream, and that was 171 each. I've got, these were on offer, so these were reduced. We've got the cream cheese with garlic and herbs was 189. Uh, we've got the cream cheese with the sea salt in it are two, two twelve each. So we bought generic mustard from Netto. We bought the good mustard from Leclerc, and that's a really lovely mustard. It's got kind of a vinegar taste to it. It's really it's delicious. Lovely. Absolutely delicious. And that was two twenty six. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is showing no sign of coming down in price at all. 135 and that is their cheapest it's their cheapest it's still really really good um this is the best we can get i'm afraid we've got uh caesar salad dressing 263 regular salad dressing 115 and even though this is the supermarket's own brand this is so good that when we used to live in the uk we used to take this back it was really good We've got two loaves of bread at 119, and that's the whole grain bread or multi grain bread. This is a store cupboard staple. This is little baguettes that you can cook later, and that's 147. Uh, traditional baguettes, 89. 
That's a traditional baguette, 89. And two pots of creme fraiche. There's creme fraiche on a lot of my cooking. And those were 182 each. So in total, in total, in Leclerc, I spent 110 euros and 57 cents. So my last shop is from the supermarket called Super U, Super U, as we would say here. And Super U is where I had a 20% cashback voucher um, coupon for my fruit and veg that I needed to use before the end of the month. And it's pretty close to where my friend lives, so I make sure I call in and see her at the same time. Right. What did I get in there? I bought some toothpaste for $2.59. Cucumbers. The price of cucumbers is really strange. It's just going up and down all the time. The cucumber was $1.79. My white cabbage was $2.59. My large bag of onions was $1.70. We have a packet of pistachio nuts for 2.22 a bag of potatoes 4.99 a bunch of the brand new in season asparagus we'll have that for lunch tomorrow it's 4.99 this is something that we literally only eat once a year when it's in season we don't see this in our shops all year round. It is only there when it is in season and it's expensive. I've got two avocado pears are $2.69. Four lemons are 99 cents. Packet of mushrooms, $3.95. And again here we have brand new, straight out the ground, this season's early new potatoes. There are Easter weekend treat to go with our roast lamb. And they were, that little tiny bag there, 331. Six apples, 3.99. 20 free range eggs, 4.91. Bunch of bananas. bunch of bananas and they were 1.51. That works out one dollar a pound. We've got another bag of salad. When you saw the previous bag of salad, that was before lunch, we ate that for lunch and this will be for tomorrow's lunch. Then we have a bunch of broccoli, that'll be for our Sunday lunch with our roast lamb, that was 150. I've got three peppers, 2 dollars so it works out one euro per pepper. I've got a small, brand new in-season from the Charente melon. I've got two oranges for 197 so that works out one euro per orange. And one bag of carrots. And this, this I should imagine for any of you, anywhere in the world, is the stuff that's really expensive for you all. It's fresh fruit and vegetables. So for us, it's, it's all the healthy food that is really expensive at the moment, isn't it? So things like this. I also have some bottled water, which works out at 19 cents a bottle for crystalline or 114 for all of it. I'm gonna try and get this to focus on the receipt now. Let's go down onto the receipt. So you can see here on the receipt that with the fruit and vegetables, with the 20% discount, I got nine euros and seven cents back. With the pistachios, it was 45 cents off those, got those back. With the eggs, there were 98 cents back. So in total this week, I have got 10 euros 50 back on my store loyalty card to spend. So. I've now got 49.82 on my Super U card, which is, you know, a whole week's fruit and veg. Now, when you see all of this here, this is not one week. 
things like the potatoes, the onions, the mushrooms, the fruit, the bananas, the carrots, the peppers, the eggs, all of those things, the apples, the lemons, all of those things will be lasting us well into two weeks. So that is my load of shopping from Super U. That was a big one, wasn't it? So we started off, we went to Niddle, and then we went to Netto, and then I went to Entermarche, and I went to Leclerc, and I went to Super U. And you might be thinking, you crazy woman, why did you go to all of those different supermarkets? I went to Netto because the legs of lamb were on offer, and I only bought two because I didn't want to leave them devoid of stock for other people who also should get those bargains. I then went on to Antomarche, who also had the legs of lamb on offer at that price. And again, I only bought two. I wouldn't want to go into a store and buy four or five all from one store. So that's why I went to the two of those. I went to Lidl because it's my always my first point of call to see if they've got any reductions. They did, they didn't have what we wanted but they have the Ziploc bags I can't find anywhere else. So things like Ziploc bags and frozen chips, fries that we buy, those are the kind of things that go away for absolutely ages. Then I went off to Leclerc and I went to Leclerc because a lot of the, a lot of the things that I buy there, they are the cheapest for. They are absolutely the cheapest for most things and they had the absolute super steak offer. Not seen steak as cheap as that in a very, very long time. And we had it yesterday, for some, we had a piece of steak each yesterday for our lunch. And that's the first time we've had steak since Christmas. And uh, if, if you can, every now and then, it's lovely to have a treat. And then finally, I went to Super U. Two reasons I go to Super U. I had a 20% off voucher for fruit and vegetables. And I got, you know, I got 10 euros 50 back off my shop onto my app. And you can pay with the app like cash. So we have store loyalty cards, but we also have a digital version of this on our phone that stores all everything about it, all the offers, all the deals, all the, all the money off vouchers, all of those things are all on our app. So, Oh, big number this month. Like I said at the beginning, we had we had about 650 euros given to us as compensation from our electricity company for being without electricity for eight days. Banked most of it, but we also spent some of it on meat for our freezer today. So in total, we spent 276 euros and 11 cents. Don't worry about all the, your currencies, whether that's in Swedish Krona or any other currency. We'll put that all on the end screen. But I spent 94.51 on meat and it's all gone in the freezer. So we have lots and lots of long-term items in there. So we shop twice a month. So if we take the meat off it, it's down to 181.60. And then for this month, my cash back, which is on my apps that I can just go in and spend like cash, totals 63.76 in cash back on the apps. So if you take that off the 181.60, we're pretty much on budget. So we have 300 euros a month for all food or drink or toiletries or cleaning products, everything. Oh, and also in there, Mike, we forgot to take off the pet food. And the, oh, pets, yeah. the pets have got their so own food budget. budget. Yeah. So that really brings us down to under that 150, which is normally what our shop is for a two week shop. So there we go. It was a big one. Few treats in there. We're gonna have a leg of lamb roasted on Easter day. We had steak the other day, and there are steak in the freezer as well. There's also fries, chips in the freezer as well for other occasions. So, we hope you like my bargain hunting today. I hope you like my methodology of how I split that between five supermarkets. Now, one isn't on my doorstep, but it is on my friend's doorstep, and I do my shopping there, and I call in on her. 
other coffee and a good old catch up. Hope you liked the video. Thank you so much for watching. All the details are on the end screen. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.